Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is uh the MQ9. I mean MQ5 skin on the uh, on the XM the Xbox Media Center. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just woke up. Um, basically, I want to show you guys how to uh, create a playlist and create another menu for your uh, for your home screen. Um, today I'm going to try to put the anime menu on here because. I have a couple of animes, animes that I don't want showing up in my TV shows, but actually having their own folder. So basically, um, I have to create a playlist for that to occur. If that, if I don't do that, that means all my animes will still show up on my TV shows whenever they update through Sigbeard or whatever I use or uh, Torrents. So basically, um, what I want to do right now is uh. I'm going to uh, create this uh, playlist right now. I think I've already created it, but I'll show you guys the steps that I did to create it. So, this here we go. Just watch me. If you have any questions, please comment on the bottom. Um, I'm gonna be quiet for a while while you guys participate. I've already created that. We're going to do that for the TV shows as well. Let me just show you how I did it. All right, now we want to create a custom. Uh, um, we want to create a menu on the home screen for your animes right here. So press down, go to customize menu. Highlight an empty spot. Hit enter. These are the things that I don't need on the main menu. You have to uh, deactivate the first TV shows because that's your main TV shows menu. Since you've created a playlist for it, you don't need that re the previous TV shows to be shown. So um, I don't have games, so I'm going to delete that as well. Uh, I don't have images. I use it only for streaming audio or video. Um, 
I don't have live TV, so I'll delete that as well. Um, I have concerts, I have music, I have programs, I have a couple favorites, but I don't need it either, so I have sub menus where I can put my favorite. And there we go. Now we have created a home screen for your animes. There we go. You have your animes in there. You have your TV shows. Just your TV shows. And you have your movies. If you had anime movies, you would do the same thing the way I did it. You would create one for your anime movies and your regular movies. And you would have to delete this main movie so that it can automatically scrape and I guess scrape or scrap into the uh, respective folders. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you here is that I hate cluttered menus and cluttered. Uh, uh, I like a clean look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my recently added videos only two or three of them showed up and they are called upon when I click up or something like that or I click on it so I hate it automatically showing up here so I'm going to show you how to do that go into settings setting skins widgets or and click only when I want to click for change manual clipping There you go. There you have it. It's clean. It it keeps everything kind of intact. Where this, it doesn't look so messy. Only when I want to see it, I hit up, and I can see what I have recently added. Um, same thing with TV shows. If I hit up, I'll see my recently added TV shows. And the same thing with movies. There we go. So that's how you add a playlist. That's how you add the anime. In the next video, I'll show you how to customize your uh, your music add-on. I mean, your music menu. Thank you.